Welcome to the News Hub, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. The air over Zhongnan shipyard crackled with anticipation as thousands gathered, eyes fixed on a colossal vessel in the dry dock. Excitement rippled through the crowd, a sense of history in the making. This was more than a ship launch, it was a moment that would echo far beyond the banks of the Yangtze. This was the Kun 24 AP, a ship set to change the world's oceans. Its unveiling marked the culmination of years of secretive engineering and bold ambition. As the signal was given, the ship slid into the Yangtze River, not with a roar, but a quiet, powerful hum. The crowd watched in awe as the massive hull met the water, a symbol of silent strength and innovation. The launch was broadcast live, stunning viewers worldwide, millions tuned in, witnessing a new chapter in maritime history unfold in real time. In Washington and shipping hubs from Rotterdam to Singapore, analysts and executives scrambled to grasp the implications. The news sent shockwaves through boardrooms and government offices alike. The Kun 24 AP was more than a ship, it was China's declaration to rewrite the rules of global shipping. It stood as a testament to the nation's technological prowess and strategic vision. Powered by a revolutionary thorium reactor, it marked a technological leap many thought decades away. The ship's core was a marvel, promising safety, efficiency, and a new era of clean energy at sea. Headlines screamed of a new atomic silk road. The world's media raced to cover the breakthrough, speculating on its impact for global trade. For years, China's economic might was clear. But this was a direct challenge in nuclear marine propulsion, a domain long dominated by the US. The balance of power on the seas was shifting before the world's eyes. The ship's quiet hum sent a clear message. A new power was charting its own course. The future of shipping would no longer be dictated by the old guard. For the first time, a civilian cargo vessel had a power source rivaling advanced military submarines. The line between military and civilian technology was blurring. It promised global range without refueling and zero carbon emissions. The environmental implications alone were staggering, offering a glimpse of a cleaner, more connected world. The launch forced a global conversation about technology, trade, and the future balance of power at sea. Nations and industries everywhere began to rethink their strategies. The Kun 24 AP was no longer a blueprint. It was a float and the shipping world would never be the same. Its maiden voyage marked the beginning of a new era, one that would redefine what was possible on the world's oceans. What makes this ship revolutionary? Is it just the technology or something deeper? The answer lies in its thorium molten salt reactor, a cutting edge innovation that could change the future of maritime energy. Traditional nuclear ships use uranium fuel rods requiring high pressure and vast water for cooling, systems prone to catastrophic meltdowns and complex safety protocols. Thorium by contrast is abundant, widely distributed across the globe, and only slightly radioactive, making it a much safer alternative. It can't sustain a chain reaction alone and must be kick-started, which adds an extra layer of safety. In a thorium molten salt reactor, thorium is dissolved in liquid fluoride salt, serving as both fuel and coolant, allowing for a compact and efficient design. Because the fuel is already liquid, meltdown is impossible, and the system runs at normal pressure, eliminating explosion risks and reducing engineering complexity. The reactor self-regulates, if it overheats, the reaction slows automatically, making it inherently stable and much easier to control. In a severe accident, a freeze plug melts, draining the fuel into a safe containment tank, where it solidifies, preventing any dangerous release. This technology isn't new, American scientists tested molten salt reactors in the 1960s but abandoned them for uranium's weapons potential, leaving thorium's promise untapped for decades. China picked up where the US left off, solving corrosion and design challenges, and turning a 60-year-old idea into a 21st century reality with modern engineering. The result? A fundamentally safer, more stable, approach to nuclear energy, with the potential to transform how we power ships and even cities. The Kun 24 AP's reactor is a showcase of this progress, representing the next step in nuclear propulsion. It's a leap forward in both safety and efficiency, setting new standards for the entire industry. The ship's core is a testament to decades of global research, now realized at sea, and a symbol of international collaboration.
With this, China isn't just building a ship. It's redefining what's possible in nuclear power and setting a new course for the world's oceans. The world is watching, and the stakes couldn't be higher as we enter a new era of safer, cleaner nuclear energy at sea. The Kun 24 AP is a true giant of the seas, capable of carrying up to 14,000 containers, making it one of the largest container ships ever built. Its immense size and scale are a testament to modern engineering and the ambition behind its creation. But what truly sets it apart is its groundbreaking 200 megawatt thorium molten salt reactor, a power source that rivals the output of US Navy submarines and far surpasses conventional marine engines. This advanced reactor, is at the heart of the ship's innovation. Instead of relying on traditional steam turbines, the reactor's heat is harnessed to drive a supercritical carbon dioxide generator. This cutting-edge system spins turbines with remarkable efficiency, reducing energy loss and maximizing output. Thanks to this technology, the system converts heat to electricity at nearly 50% efficiency, a major leap over older nuclear ships, which often struggle to reach such performance. The reactor itself is a sealed, modular unit, designed to operate for a full decade at sea without the need for refueling. This means fewer interruptions and greater reliability for long voyages. When the fuel is spent, the entire module is simply swapped out in port, minimizing risks and treating the reactor like a giant, rechargeable battery. This approach streamlines maintenance and enhances safety. For emergencies, a robust, backup, diesel generator is on board, ensuring that essential systems remain online even in the rare event of a reactor shutdown. The ship's design puts safety first, operating at low pressure, using self-regulating fuel, and featuring a passive drain tank system that can safely shut down the reactor without human intervention. According to its designers, these features make it the safest nuclear reactor ever put to sea, setting a new standard for maritime safety and nuclear engineering. Convincing global ports and regulators of its safety is crucial for its success, as international acceptance will determine its future on the world's oceans. The Kun 24 AP is more than just a nuclear ship. It represents a next-generation leap in both maritime and nuclear technology, pushing the boundaries of what's possible at sea. It's a floating demonstration of China's ambition and technological prowess, signaling a new era for the shipping industry. The world is taking notice, watching closely as this technological marvel charts a new course for the future of global shipping. The Kun 24 AP's launch signals a shift in global maritime power. For decades, nuclear propulsion was the domain of navies, especially the US. Now, China has mastered and commercialized this technology, narrowing the gap. The ship's reactor is dual use. Lessons learned here can be applied to future military vessels. This erodes America's technological monopoly at sea. Thorium-powered ships could reduce China's reliance on vulnerable sea lanes and foreign oil. By perfecting the technology commercially, China builds expertise and infrastructure for future naval expansion. The Kun 24 AP is a civilian prototype with military implications. The balance of power on the oceans is shifting. In Washington, China's thorium ship was a wake-up call, a 21st-century Sputnik moment. The U.S. Navy's nuclear fleet was once untouchable. Now, a rival has matched and even surpassed it in some ways. The dual-use nature of the technology is the real concern. A proven 200-megawatt molten salt reactor could power future Chinese carriers or submarines. This could erode U.S. advantages in stealth and endurance. America pioneered molten salt reactors but abandoned them. China's success is a lesson in long-term investment. The Kun 24 AP forces a rethink of U.S. research priorities and next-generation reactor programs. The real threat isn't one ship, but the start of a technological shift that could reshape global sea power. The race for maritime supremacy has entered a new phase. The world is watching closely. Despite its promise, the Kun 24 AP faces daunting challenges. Building and operating a nuclear ship is vastly more expensive than conventional vessels. Specialized crews, reactor module swaps, and decommissioning add to the cost. Government subsidies are essential for viability. Regulatory hurdles loom large. There's no global framework for nuclear cargo ships. 
gaining port access and insurance will be difficult, with many nations wary of nuclear vessels. Scaling up from one prototype to a fleet requires a new supply chain, specialized shipyards and port facilities. China's roadmap stretches decades, with demonstration reactors and larger power stations planned. Even for China, this is a long, uncertain journey. The future of nuclear shipping is far from guaranteed. If China overcomes these hurdles, the rewards could transform global shipping. Thorium-powered ships produce zero greenhouse gases, slashing the industry's carbon footprint. With decade-long range, they can take faster, more direct routes, cutting delivery times. Freed from volatile oil prices, nuclear fleets offer stable, predictable costs. This could give China a major competitive edge, especially as carbon taxes rise. These ships also boost supply chain resilience, able to reroute or operate independently during crises. The Kun 24 AP is more than a clean ship, it's a blueprint for faster, more reliable maritime trade. The potential for a greener, more efficient shipping industry is real. The world's supply chains may never be the same. The future of shipping is being rewritten. The Kun-24 AP story began in the Gobi Desert where China's first thorium molten salt reactor proved the concept. Years of research and state investment turned a discarded Western idea into a Chinese breakthrough. Scientists solved corrosion and fuel cycle challenges, then miniaturized and marinized the reactor for the open sea. The sealed modular design made commercial nuclear ships feasible and safe. Now, China is planning more nuclear-powered oil tankers, floating power plants, and a diverse fleet of advanced vessels. The Kun-24 AP is just the flagship of a broader strategy. China aims to lead in advanced nuclear maritime technology. The journey from desert lab to ocean lanes is only beginning. The world is watching China's next moves. The Kun-24 AP floats as a symbol of change. Can one ship shift the global balance of power? The road to a nuclear fleet is long and costly, yet history shows that single breakthroughs can reshape the world. China's strategic priorities, energy independence, technological leadership, decarbonization, and military parity are converging behind this technology. The next steps, port access, financing, and military applications will reveal China's true ambitions. The US and its allies must decide, compete, cooperate, or contain. The Kun-24 AP may be remembered as a turning point in maritime history, its quiet hum signals a new era on the world's oceans.